wiggle and move, and I'm just like, no, no. Uh, see? It was trying to go this way, then it was trying to go that way. I'm trying to keep it level and steady. Okay, so this next product that I'm going to talk to y'all about, I kind of was like, all right, I'm in a pinch for a styler. I don't think I'm going to like it. It's cheap. It's affordable. Let me just buy it and try it because if I don't like it, I won't be upset about it. But if I like it, I can be like, all right, it came through in a clutch and in a pinch. So, what I'm talking about, because I finished my gel, was this. This is the Garnier Fruities Curl Construct Creation Mousse. Long name, but I've had, so Garnier Fruities Curl Construct Creation Mousse Coconut Water. See what I mean, how the camera keep moving and doing its own thing when it needs to just stay steady? So it says it's defined and soft curls with no way down. Extra strong hold Ursa. Curl control infused with coconut water defines, boosts your curls while controlling frizz and flyways. Gives you power to create and control your curls with long lasting holes and shine without the weight down. It's formulated with no parabens, no phallus, DM, hide and taint, hide up, what? High dentoin. So shake well. Hold upside down, dispense it to the palm. Apply evenly to damp hair, scrunch hair, then air dry or blow dry with the diffuser as desired. For constructive curls, wrap finger around, wrap hair around finger and blow dry with diffuser. And then you can scan here. There's like a code. So this is a very foamy mousse. It's a thick mousse. But when it goes on the hair, it feels like a cloud. It sprays out very thick. It goes on the hair and melts into the hair. You be like, uh, did I use enough? It's six point eight ounces, and I got this at Target for like five ounces. <laughs> I got product in here. This pump is actually a good one. Because it has like lines where it allows all that mousse to come out. They actually thought about that because the Anthony, the um, the Mark Anthony one, that pump, uh-uh. If they're going to have one of these type of pumps, then they need to have put some lines or some holes in it to allow that mousse to come out. So, that's the only thing I would say is that the design of this, they thought about it when they did it. It has kind of a neutral, somewhat coconutty smell. It's not overbearing. It's not overpowering. It actually is a lovely, nice smell to it. Um, now, as far as... I'm trying to think of the side that I use this on. Okay, let me just take my hair out of this so y'all can kind of see a bit. When I say <laughs> growth, baby growing. Because there was a time I did these videos and I would just part my hair from one side to the other and it would barely be curly or it would barely be this length. It's taking time, but it is growing, at least to where I'm able to just like whoosh the parts that I don't want out of my face, that I don't want in my face, out of my face. So I'll say that, and it's definitely looking fuller. I can see the growth just coming and coming and coming. So these last, what, four or five weeks, I've been using the Camille Rose, her Rosemary collection and it's been helping it's a really good collection the only thing i don't really care for which i wish she could make it a little thicker the shampoo but the deep conditioner the the leave-in the hair spritzer all those i enjoyed she has some drops too so i might just pick that up just to be like hey i forgot about this Now, if you know me, I, I'm not shy with it. It definitely has my hair feeling soft, still moisturizing. Look at that curl. Look at that curl. 
So I just thought y'all to see how this is the first time where I could just do this like this and it lays like this. Usually, oh wait, it'll be all over the place. I guess I kind of did it to where if I want to, but I think this one's supposed to go over here like this. If I'm not mistaken, I think this can go like that. So th there we go. Usually I can just do that and it stays like that without flapping over my glasses. We gonna take that as a win. Cause normally that's why I keep my bonnet on because it gets all over my face. <laughs> and I don't like that. This helps what I say, hold it in place. I don't know if it's like an extra strong hold, but the hold is strong enough to where the only way your hair is going to move is if you move it yourself. So it, it, it holds it in place. I will say that. I'll give credit to holding it in place. Now, as far as it says shine, I'm not sure about that. They all say that. But I do know that it's soft, it controls the hair, keeps it in place. Because I'm even feeling on the back with some, where well, I'm able to just do that. And it just stays. This is an actual overall good styler. And why am I talking to y'all about this now? Because I did my hair Wednesday. Today is Friday. So, this is day three. -ish. Tomorrow will be going into day four. And then, of course, Sunday will be day going from day four to day five. And then they sit. And then Wednesday, I'm going to use it again. And then, you know. So I will... I, even though I've used the gel and parts, partial places, and then I finished the gel that I used last week, this week, and I was able to use this in certain spots, I could tell that this blended lovely and blended well with the leave-in. And it blended well with the... Or shall I say the heat protectant? And it also blended well with the gel. So, overall, if you're looking for a nice mousse, even if it's not the most moisturizing, it's going to lay your hair down and lock it in place to where it's not going to move unless you move it. You can move it. It'll feel soft when you touch it, but it's going to lay the hair down to where it's not like a hard, damn, this is hard. It's soft enough. But strong enough to where it holds the hair in place. And it just looks good. That is what I have to say about this. So for it to be affordable and it does that, I'm okay with that. And the packaging, how it comes out thick and foamy, I love that. I cannot stand a watery mousse. No. I love a thick, foamy mousse with good packaging. So, L'Oreal, you did your thing with this packaging. I'm just going to tell you that. And I'm looking at ingredients. Let me see because there is all my dimethicone. So, if you don't like a silicone, you may not like this. But it's kind of hard at this point to avoid silicones. They're almost in every, maybe not every, but 80% of the products, whether you're natural or relaxed, there's going to be some form of a silicone or a substitute for a silicone. Now, some of the other stuff that you may not want, like DM, Hanatonin, Carabins, and Phthalates, you can avoid those. <laughs> it's not as easy to avoid a silicone. You may think, oh, it don't have a silicone in there. You read the package. You'd be like, what? They snuck that in there? So just do your diligence if you're not trying to use stuff with silicones in it. That's what I'm going to tell you on that.